Hey beauties, it's Riri and today's a Throwback Thursday with the Sigma Cinderella palette. Alright beauties, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are well. How is the weather where you are at? It has been very, very hot, muggy, very sunny until recently and it has been raining every single day and it's like 75 degrees outside. Look, I'll take it, okay, because we all know I do not like hot weather at all. Anyways, I digress. Um, I'm already prepped. I will let you know what is on my face. We're going to dive in and do some swatches because this is a brand new palette to me. And I asked you guys in my community tab what you would like to see for today's Throwback Thursday video. And this one and the Raw Beauty Christie one were very, very close. So if you guys still want to see that one, I can do that one for next week. But I wanted to do this one because it's still available, one thing. And then I've never even swatched this or anything. I did get it when it was on sale and then it had like a something percent off and then it also came with a free brush and to my knowledge I don't think that I have tried any Sigma palettes before um, I have a few brushes that I really really love so I'm very intrigued by this palette it does have a brush with it and here is our color story and because I knew already just looking at it, we'll see what the swatches tell me too, but looking at it, I went ahead and did more mauve purple tones today. So I will let you know quickly what is on my face. I have on the Huda Beauty foundation stick in the shade Cheesecake, and it is almost empty. I'm hoping in the next maybe week or so I can finish it up. Um, so exciting, very, very excited about that. I went in with the By Terry Brightening CC palette. I was gifted this from Kate. And I went in with the more like lilac-y shade right here. So freaking beautiful. I went in with an OG fave, the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. And then for my blush, I'd use the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2. And I went in with the shade B right here. So that is what's on my face. Let's do some little swatches really quickly. Um, I think this is absolutely stunning. The brush feels nice and really good quality. All the brushes that I've used thus far are also very good quality. And Cinderella is one of my all-time favorite movies. I literally could recite it verbatim. I love the movie. Um, and I wanted it when it first came out, but as you guys know, I don't typically lean more cool toned. So I went, so I didn't go for it then, but then when I saw it on sale and it had a free brush, I was like, now's the time to get it. So I'm gonna start here and work my way across and we will do some finger swatches. This is gonna be my first time swatching this. We have Wishful, Pumpkin, Fantasy. These feel quite smooth and very glittery. Oh my goodness, those feel so nice. The mattes feel very soft, very velvet-like. And then I have Courtyard. Wishful, Pumpkin, Fantasy, Courtyard. One of a kind, kindness, charming, mischievous. Dressmakers, cinders, sweet nightingale, and hopeful. Bibbidi bobbidi boo, stroke of midnight. These shimmers feel very smooth. This one feels slightly more, I guess, grainy or textured, um, solely because the glitter sparkles in here are just a little bit bigger, but oh my gosh, I'm excited. First up, I'm gonna go into the shade Kindness. I'm going to use the fluffy end of this brush. It just says Cinderella and Disney Princess, uh, E38 Diffused Crease, and then E54 Medium Sweeper. So I'm going in with the fluffy end. I did notice just upon swatches that there's quite a bit of fallout in here. That does not bother me. I like to note it for you guys. I'm going to run this in the inner portion of the lid and all the way across the crease. I feel like color is pretty true to pan. I started off with a less is more approach just because I don't know how pigmented this is obviously and you can see I'm kind of tilting my head back a little bit. My mirror is down here 
you can obviously go in and use this but I feel like in my personal opinion it's a little bit distracting for the people that are watching now I'm going to start building it up just a little bit and I'm going in with sweeping motions first and then circular buffing motions just to kind of flick the color up Have you tried Sigma shadows before? Do you have a favorite palette from Sigma? And have you tried this particular palette? Alright, I feel like that worked great. And it's such a beautiful palette too. Like, I love the color story. I find that sometimes, especially with, you know, like, licensed type collections, it's literally, a lot of the times, in my personal opinion, haphazardly thrown together and it's more of like a cash grab in my opinion and it doesn't kind of like seamlessly blend together and go together like this actually goes cohesively together if that makes any sense <laughs> I feel like they you know definitely paid attention to it they put in a lot of attention to detail I mean even with like the embossing even with the embossing I think it's just it's beautiful hopefully I like the palette I definitely waited a very long time to get the palette <laughs> And I think right now, too, at my time of filming, I will update it right here somewhere for you guys. Um, they're doing another, like, 40% off or some kind of sale right now going on. And that's when I got this. It was, like, 40% off and then a free brush or something. So that's a really smart way to shop if you are kind of sitting, you know, on the fence and you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't really need it. Do we need anything? No, we do not need anything. But if you're on the fence, then I feel like that's the time to shop, you know, especially during holiday time. Now, if something's not a limited edition, I'm waiting till holiday time. I'm waiting until brands do all of their 40 and 50 percent off or, you know, you can get a lot of gifts with purchase, things like that. So I definitely waited until it was on sale. I think that is beautiful. It's blending out great. All right. So far, so good. I'm going to go into the other side, the flat side, and I'm going to go into Stroke of Midnight. And I'm going to place that in the outer V area. And I like to tap into place first with my deeper shades. Wow, that is really pretty. And I'm going to come about halfway over. I like the level of opacity here. It's building up quite deep and quite intense. Again, padding motions. I am getting a little bit of fallout on my face, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. And oddly enough, I usually, if I'm testing something for the first time, like a brand I'm not familiar with, I always do my eyes first. So I don't know why I didn't do my eyes first this time. I'm taking the fluffy side, no additional product. And I'm just going to buff in between here where I have no product at. Yeah, that's pretty. I like it. So far, so good. I'm going to put some NYX glitter glue on the back of my hand, and I'm going to go in with this Laura Lee Los Angeles uh, L27, I think it says, <laughs> brush. Just any kind of flat brush that you have. I'm going to pick this up, and anywhere that I want to place my shimmers down, I am going to put the glitter glue. And with the sticky side of the brush on the outer part, I'm going to go into Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, the one that had like all the sparkle to it. goodness oh pretty let me tap my brush because there is a, definitely a lot of fallout oh that's beautiful and usually I just go in with my finger I'm aiming to just be a little bit more precise up here I do it kind of vice versa I'll either start with my finger and then make it and then make it more precise with the brush or start with the brush and then go with my finger so I'm going in with my finger oh you guys oh Oh, that's beautiful. I'm so sad that I slept on this palette, you guys. I will say do your eyes first because, oh baby, oh, we have got glitter central everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to tap off the brush and then I'm going to go into one of a kind. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. That's so pretty. And again, I normally start with my finger and then tighten it up a little bit with a brush or I'm going to start with a brush and then use my finger. You can use a silicone applicator. You can wet your brush. That is stunning. I'm going in with my pinky. 
Okay, other than getting a ton of sparkle everywhere, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, I actually know a lot of people that leave the fallout there and they love how it looks and it's stunning to them. Whatever makes you feel like the best version of yourself. But other than that and having a little bit of fallout, I'm impressed and I like the formula thus far. I will definitely update you guys though because y'all know, oh, that glitter is a lot. <laughs> y'all know the most important thing to me personally is staying power. So I will definitely update you guys and let you know how it wore. I'm gonna go in with my pinky now into Wishful. I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of that and I am gonna get up close. Whoa. That is gorgeous. And this took like zero effort. I do wanna go back in with the fluffy end and pick up a tiny, tiny bit more of kindness. I honestly wish there was one more lighter shade in here, either a super soft pastel blue or a very, very soft, like smoky, you know, like violet shade, lilac shade, just to kind of blend these out a little bit more and give myself a little bit more lightness, but ooh. Let me finish up this eye and then I will be right back. All right, and here is our finished look. I love it. I did smoke out the lower lash line with the shade Stroke of Midnight, and then I did take Wishful and put it at the brow bone as well. I finished off with the NYX Retractable Liner in white, my Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara, and then the lips are the About Face Matte Paint Lip Color in Last Good Night. I felt like it finished the look up beautifully. I'm gonna try to turn my light down. Sometimes that helps as far as like to be able to see sparkle and stuff. So maybe this will help you see the sparkle a little bit better. But, uh, oh my gosh, like these glittery shades are like sparkly shades. They're so incredibly intense and beautiful. So hopefully this helps you decide whether or not you wanna pick this palette up or not. I definitely say if you are a fan of Cinderella, then of course I would say go for it. If you love Sigma's formula already and you know and trust it and love it, I say go for it, especially if you can get it on sale. Everything swatched beautifully. The few shades that I did use, they did blend well and everything together. So we shall see. I will let you guys know how they wear. That is the most important thing to me. I do not want to sit down and spend any amount of time on makeup and then an hour later you don't see anything. But just, oh, they're stunning. Like all the sparkle in that is so pretty. And for them to get so much sparkle in a shadow, and you don't really feel like the texture of it. You can definitely feel something in there, but there's just something beautiful about them, something very magical about them. They're so stunning. And then the one of a kind, I mean, quite a few of them have those pretty shimmers in them. They're just, gosh, they're beautiful. Like, to be honest, I mean, I think I paid, I think it was like $27, $25. Um, even if I really didn't care for the mattes, like the shimmers in this, I think probably make up for that. Again, I cannot attest to wear just yet, but I mean, look how easy this was. I try to make sure that everything is very beginner friendly, user friendly. And if you just have another cool tone palette with purples and blues or whatever, you can obviously recreate the look yourself as well. But hopefully you enjoyed this throwback Thursday. I will do that Raw Beauty Christie one, the F4 site for next Thursday. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. Thank you for joining me. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course... Be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.